Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. So today we'll probably have just a short episode, I've been feeling like crap the whole day, but I still want to record at least something. I want to solve one problem, we have those brigands right behind us. I couldn't even unpause so we could see them. Um, the plan is to go north through the swamp and then around them, hide in the forest, fight them there. Uh, I made some minor changes, uh, shuffled the gear around so at least the front line can survive a hit or two. And actually what I'm gonna do, one more thing, I'm gonna remove Margaret from the fight completely because she's almost dead and... Uh, She'll basically be just another problem during the fight. I'd have to babysit her, just try to move her away from the fight as soon as possible. And since you're gonna be fighting in the forest, that might be a problem. I'll just make sure she's not in the field at all. Okay, so we have to go directly north if we want to avoid them. Actually, they're not as close as I thought they, they would be. But we can maybe go this way? Uh, yeah. Okay, that was close. Go into the forest. For some reason, they decided to go through the swamp and give us time. Okay, so I would even have the option to just completely avoid them. And uh, I can even, like, fall back. What do we have? Some poachers, some thugs, a few war dogs, a rabble. Well, they were just... Maybe I should have just retreated. Uh, well, too light. Wait. Too sh Oh, that's bad. Went with the short sword. Holy crap, this is a problem. Why didn't I retreat? We need to kill this dog. That's the first thing. At least there's some high ground. And it's not like they have... Uh, like a perfect line of fire. There is a tree here, another tree here. Uh, this is tr oh, this actually this is a pretty good terrain. I thought this was a lot more open, but all of these tiles are just blocking their shots. Maybe it's not that bad. Uh, it's also blocking our shot, so it's not waste ammo. The crossbow is not in the best shape, so I have to be careful what I do with it. Uh, we have two people who are in good shape on this side. On th the other side it's worse, but we can move Anton here if we really get into trouble. Wait. This guy is going to be probably the biggest issue. Oh, this guy's going to be pretty dangerous as well. So do I move towards him? I think I do. I want to get some damage on him. Uh, hmm. I'm just gonna wait. Don't want to get attacked by. Uh, don't want to have uh, uh, an idea here being attacked by both of them. Can't even kill the dog. So what I can do next is be a bit more. <gasps> Crap, I didn't check the action point goes. Oops. And once again, you can hear my cat being bored. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, whoa, that hurt. Because she got lucky and hit the head, of course. What else would it be? So that's two 50% or less 50% shots missed. Oh, I don't have a choice, really. And of course we hit the head when there is some protection. Okay. 
Okay. Well, that's actually killed basically two of them. Because one of them panicked. Now, let's actually go for the spear wall. Somehow we are still breathing. Question is, what about these two? I can't go to them. I have to go south. Probably back. Yeah, they're getting behind us. 63. Sure, we miss it. So that was what? 52, 56, and 62% missed? Sure. Good. Another one is in pretty bad shape. Wait. Uh, wait. Do I want to move towards them? Move and attack? Or let them move? I think I want to let them move to me. Wait. 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 That is bad. Basically needed to kill this guy now. Oh, he panicked. Well. Wait. Try to stun him. Nope, didn't work. Poke him. Switch weapons. Stab him. 40%. Fight for your life. Nope. And he didn't panic. Was he slowed down enough? Actually, he missed. Die! Not nervous at all. So, let's block those shots. 49, 42. Now I have to kill this one. Please. Now, this is fine. Started hitting this guy. How many are there? S still six. I can switch back to the crossbow. Promise I can't go anywhere. Right. That was pretty good. And now another one is dead. Wait. That's fine. So if I send Arnold this way, is it gonna make the, the poacher shoot him instead of trying to finish off Kaspar? Do they have line of sight? I could try to hide Kaspar here. Hit him. No. Okay, Carlos should be able to handle a hit or two. I'm not nervous. Yeah. Now. Block this guy. Wait. Anton needs to stay in cover. No. 
hopefully they'll now... Damn it. I want to say they will now start moving back. And we are pressuring them. Well, we are gonna move back. Can't afford it to keep moving to them in this shape. And actually, I didn't see this tree. Let's try to pressure this guy a bit. Wait. They shouldn't be able to reach this tile. There's no way. Ow. And what if I go up instead of this way? Hide. Don't you there. Here, I think. Come on. Three to go. I can't get there. That's bad. If I was able to get here, I think the other one would just run. Let's go this way. Hopefully, they had enough. I'm so surprised I can't move. So, what's it gonna be? Run? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Question is, do we want to catch the last one? No. Running. Running. We won. We somehow won. Now we're just gonna say, it's over. And we can be happy. We can be really happy with five level ups. <clears throat> what did we get? We got the Militia Glaive, which is not bad. And then a little bit of everything. What about the... It's actually useful. 25-point base. Or actually, this is 35-point base and 10% uh, or 10-point uh, layer. And I think we didn't take that much damage in the end, except for Kaspar, who got completely this... Actually, it's also not that bad. Man is 15% initiative, who cares? And uh, minus additional action point per tile moved. Another, another penalty to initiate. Who cares? He's ranged. He can just sit on one tile and shoot. So we can just stay after he heals up a little bit. Um, just the repair is gonna take forever. Initiative, movement penalty. Do they have? No, they don't have the. Uh, I mean, identical, identical injuries. This is actually a bigger issue. The pierced side. Actually, no, no. It's just an only fatigue problem. Movement. Nothing that would reduce our combat stats. So actually, it's not that bad. When you look at it here, it looks like a complete disaster. But when you look on the details, it definitely could have been worse. So what do we need to do now? We can just go to Krumhorn, I think. Uh, let's first check those level ups. 
So Arnold. Arnold. That's going to be... Melee skill. Resolve and the hit points. And we want to give him... He's going to need fortified mine, but he can wait for that. I'm thinking about going backstabber. Just basically squeeze every little bit of a hit chance that I can get. His uh, melee skill in the end won't be that high. So he probably could use it. He'll always attack uh, last. Or we'll wait with him and make sure that there are enough people around his target. So that we get uh, the extra hit chance that we need for him from the backstabber. And yeah, in the end, he'll be backstabbing people with a two-handed sword. Sounds like a plan. So we need backstabber. We're going to need uh, fortified mind. And we need mind over body. We'll have reach advantage for some defense. You'll have... Actually, no, we won't have heavy armor. We'll still have to figure out, like, last two or three... Uh, two or three perks. What is this? Double strike? Uh, no. Well, we'll see about that. So that's Arnold. Then, Anton. That should be easy every time. One... Two, three, and if an attack misses, it goes twenty percent less fatigue than normal. Taking a perk like that just uh, shows that you don't trust your people. That you say you will be missing very often. So let's get the best out of the missed attacks. No, 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 no. We are not planning on missing anything. <clears throat> Let's take Pathfinder, I think. I'm checking if there's anything useful on the tier 2, but not really. In the end, we may take Backstabber as well, or Executioner, one of these two, but we don't want to take it now. We'll go Student into Pathfinder, into Brawny, into X Mastery, Berserker, Battleforge, Killing Frenzy, and then maybe. One of these two. So maybe recover. Mm, Carl. Carl, that's our militia man with the spear. Um, could go shield bash. I don't feel like Spear Waller because the AI is just too good uh, to just run into a Spear Wall, so I'm not using it that often. Backstabber is again an option. I think I'll take Shield Bash. Plus two. Plus two, plus three, I guess. No, with one star, I'm not taking three fatigue. That's a horrible roll. What I'm going to do, I'll take the plus four resolve. So we get the resolve over 40 at least. Okay. This one should be quite easy. That's going to be a nice one. Plus four range skill. Uh, Kaspar is supposed to be in the front line eventually. We want to take range defense for him. And we want to take fatigue. Because he'll have quite heavy armor. And as for perks. That's a good question.
Definitely. Actually, well, we probably want to take Anticipation. Because we are stacking range defense. Plus 1, plus 10% of your range defense. So how much are we... Uh, this would give us like plus 3 maybe in the end. Plus 4. And with the heavy armor now, that's a waste. What do you think, guys? Actually, not sure. You could go Pathfinder as well. Would a backstabber work? work? Stabbing enemy where it hurts does the bonus hit chance in melee. In melee, okay, never mind. <clears throat> we could go executioner, perhaps. You don't think about gifted. Possible no with, with the crossbow we won't need the recover I think. Let's go pathfinder. And the last one that's a nade. Hmm. Plus three. That kinda sucks. Plus four. And probably some melee defense. And we'll just wait. At some point, we have we'll have to get just plus one melee defense, and then we'll try to work on the resolve. Since we need to get that to to forty ish. So she has to have a shield. Her defenses are gonna be quite bad. So at least we know that. What else? In, no, don't need initiative. Not sure about Colossus. Crippling strikes. Eh. She could end up with the deck. Yeah, she has Decker Master. Someone suggested that maybe giving her a Decker would be a horrible idea instead of going for Mace Master. I kind of wanted to have someone with a decent melee skill and the Mace to have guaranteed stuns. But having a decent assassin early wouldn't be bad either. And with the dagger recover would definitely make sense. It's not like it wouldn't make sense with the Mace Master uh, either. So we could do that. Just go backstabber, recover. Probably rotation, maybe even grappling. Not sure that I want shield bash for her. I will take shield expert though. Berserk. You will full weight into every blow, 10% damage or current hit points, additional maximum damage. I'm thinking how useful this will be for the dagger attacks. 10% when it completely ignores armor, you would be able to get to let's say 80, so it would be let's say plus 8 damage on every attack. So that's up to 24 damage per turn, maybe 30 damage if you really, oh, well, you probably wouldn't be able to get to 100 hit points. We definitely wouldn't be able to get to 100 hit points. Uh, if we have some some uh, perks left in the end, Colossus combined with Muscularity with the Dagger could be an option. But well, let's start with the Recover. Fine, that's the level ups. Uh, let's go to... Crumhorn. Um, 
I'll go normal speed because at this point we definitely can't afford it to like run into something. Uh, down to six tools and supplies. Uh, how much are we paying every day? Almost 100 crowns. But well, we have eight people, so maybe it's not that bad. What do you have for me? Uh, secure old graveyard. Mm. Don't feel like fighting undead. It doesn't have to be undead. They can be actual brigands. Uh, it sounds weird, but it, it could be, but the chance is pretty low. I'm not sure that I want to do that. But do you have local holiday and terrified villagers? Uh, recruits 300 is quite a lot, but the bull sounds like something that could be a positive uh, perk. How much do you want for tools and supplies here? Way too much. Anything that we could buy and resell? Nope. How much do you want for transportation? Berghaven and Albeck, maybe. No, no, no. We don't want to go south. Actually, we want to go to uh, Dinklesmark and Harkenze. Let's check Harkenze. How much would we have to pay for that? It's probably going to be way too much. Harkenze. 160 isn't too bad, considering how far it is. An 84 Birkhaven. So the prices are not too bad. I think we may pay to save some time. But... What is this, by the way? Oh, generous mood. Time for food and drink. Really? Uh, 65. It's not that bad, but this is still quite expensive. I think I'll just buy the dried fruit. 63. That's enough for three days, so I probably don't need it yet. Hmm. Fine. Um, so what are we going to do? We're going to set up a camp and we need to repair the gear. That means we all have to have quite a few people uh, salvaging items so that we don't run out of uh, supplies in like one hour. I still may have to buy, how much was it again? 200 for 10? No, I'm not, not paying that, like no, no chance. <clears throat> Let's see, how many items can we use here? Um, not repairing that, we'll just repair this, and what else? I'm not repairing this, instead we're gonna fix this. Do we need something better than these rags? No. Okay, and what do we want to salvage? Uh, where's the spear mastery, not mastery, and militia practice? Because this is only with militia or wooden spear, so we can't uh, use it with militia glaive, or we can at least, uh, but only on 25% efficiency. Instead, we can give the militia glaive to Arnold. It should be an upgrade 30 to 40, 25 to 30, definitely an upgrade. We can. Salvage this, salvage all of this, we'll keep one shield, salvage, 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 wait, is it salvage, I can't salvage that crap, oh, in that case, I'll just throw these away, salvage this one. Maybe I'll even do the camping of camera. I'll have to uh, like keep shuffling people around uh, between salvaging and repairs. It may take some time. So next time we see each other, may actually be in better shape. I don't think I'll be able to repair everything completely, but uh, I need to repair it enough so we can at least think about fighting. Then... Uh, I 
think we, I'll just... Uh, how much is the trip to Berkhaven again? Berkhaven 80. So I kind of want to check if there is anything here. And then I would go north to Dinkelsmark. Or I could go this way to Dinkelsmark. Well, we will see. I can think about that in between episodes. We are done for today, so I hope that you like this episode. I hope that you're gonna join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye bye.